Alrighty, welcome back everybody to another episode of Guessing the Bonzuke, and it's gonna be a wild one to try to guess. It should be a lot of fun though. Uh, of course, Tenor Fuji stays at the top, and everything else is gonna be in chaos. A lot of people were asking, oh, how high will Takeru Fuji go? How high will, uh, you know, Ono Sato go? What happens if Takeru Fuji wins the Yusho? And a lot of it, I think, will have to do with what happens to everyone else in this section that rises and falls, and we will see. So, uh, for now, let's finish off the Ozeki. It's gonna be whole shoulder is Ozeki 1 East. Great boon to him. Uh, Kotono Waka, I think, is going to be Ozeki 1 West. Takakesho will stay at Ozeki uh, 2 East. And then Kirishima is Kadoban. He will be Ozeki uh, 2 West. Uh, and then as far as our Sekiwake go, easily Wakamoto Haru and Abi. Then from here, I'll start to label everyone with losing records in red and everyone with winning records in green, just so it's a little bit easier to differentiate. But uh, this is going to be one of the first Bonzuke in a little while where it's not going to be that clean at the top. Uh, we also have a couple of guys that are going to be falling out into Judeo, which they're pretty obvious. We're going to be taking care of those quickly. So let's uh, highlight these guys in red real quick. And then everybody else outside of Komusubi will be in green. And that is another cool thing, too. We might see uh, Atami Fuji Komusubi, but uh, don't really know if someone like Ono Sato will leapfrog him, which I think in the past has happened before. So we might see a surprise at Komusubi slot. So like I said, Abi Wakamoto Haru going to be back to Sekiwake. Um, Daisho is going to be falling most likely only to like the Maigashira 1 range, so I'll put Daisho down to Maigashira 1 for now. Nishikigi, we'll put him down to like Maigashira 6 for now. Uda, maybe down to Maigashira 3. Meise, uh, Asano Yama will be Komusubi. Atami Fuji, it's hard to say if he will or will not be Komusubi. I'll put him next to Maigashira 1 for now. Meise will fall a couple of ranks. Oho might fall a rank or stay the same rank. Takanosho with that 5 and 10, he's going to fall a bunch of ranks. Tobi Zaru will move up ever so slightly. Uh, Hirado Umi will probably move up above, well, actually definitely will move up above Tobi Zaru. So put Hirado Umi above Tobi Zaru no matter what. Midori Fuji could stay the same spot. I'm going to put him the same spot for now. Ono Sato, again, this is where the big question mark comes in. Does Ono Sato leapfrog Atami Fuji? I think the answer is going to be yes. I think the answer will be yes. Um, Tsurugisho, he's going to fall way down. Gonoyama, he's going to move way up. Keen Bozan is going to move uh, a little bit down. He only had a 6 and 9, so he's not going to move that far down. Tamawashi, 7 and 8, he might only fall one rank. Ono Sho will go up a couple of ranks. We'll put him at Maigashira 6 for now. Takiyasu, 11 and 4 himself. He's going to go up. He's going to go up the ranks, maybe even around Maigashira 2. I don't think he'll uh, leapfrog someone like Tobizaru, but I could see him leapfrogging Ono Show for sure, so I'll put him up here at Maigashira 3 for now. Uh, Hokuto Fuji will just scooch him down a little bit. Koto Shoho will scooch him up a little bit. Shodai will scooch him up a little bit. Mitakeyumi will probably leapfrog both Koto Shoho and Shodai, so I'll leave him uh, dangling for now. Ichiyamamoto might move down, might move over. Sadana Umi will definitely move up, but he won't move up any higher than anyone else. Shonana Umi will definitely leapfrog Sadana Umi. And maybe even Shodai, so I'm going to put him above Shodai for now. Um, Shimazu Umi will fall down to Judio. Definitely will fall down to Judio. He went 0, 4, and 11. Really unfortunate scoreline. Uh, Ryuden will not fall to Judio. Definitely don't think he will. Chirano Umi might even stay the same spot. Uh, Nishiki Fuji will be moving up just a little bit, and he's uh, one of the last green guys on the Banzuke, so we'll see. Um, Kitana Waka will definitely fall back down to Judio. Miyogiryu may be saved by the skin of his teeth. Roga might move down one. Or maybe even might stay the same rank, you never know. 
Endo will fall down. Diamami might fall down one. And we got to remember it's Maegashira 17 East because we have a Yokozuna East as well. It's a little uh, off balance right now. But we got to remember there's still 42 guys. And then last but not least, Takeru Fuji. He's somewhere up here. Don't know where he's going to go just yet. And as you can see, there is kind of a traffic jam at the top. And there's going to be a lot of filling in near the bottom that we need to do. So let's fill in the bottom a little bit. Toki Ayate, Takara Fuji, and Mitoryu are probably the three most likely candidates to make it up there. I mean, definitely the three most likely candidates to make it up there. Uh, the question is, will 11-4 and four Oshoma also debut? And that question comes with, uh, will Myogiryu fall off the Banzuke to be replaced by Oshoma? Or will Oshoma kind of get stopped up at Judeo 1? I think Oshoma has a stronger record, and that 11-4 and four definitely will put him up. So, preliminary, I'm going to put uh, Toki Hayate up here, Takara Fuji up here, Mitoryu above them, and Oshoma... Above them, but below me told you. And I think if we try to fill out the Banzuke from the bottom, we can kind of scooch down everyone from the top and see how they fall. So let's try to stretch this out a little bit. I think Ryu Den, um, I might be a bit of an over demotion. So I think someone like Takara Fuji will be down here. Um, Roga and Dayamami, I think it's 100% likely they just keep their rank. Seven and eight. They're not going to move up. They could realistically move down a half of a rank each and uh, Takara Fuji be placed above them and Ryuden even be placed above Roga and Dayamami. So it could even be something like this real quick. Let me just uh, scooch some things around. Like Takara Fuji above them. Roga right there. Ryuden right there. I have Takara Fuji twice right now. Toki Hayate above Takara Fuji. And then we scooch up Tsurugisho and Churana Umi to make room for uh, Mitoryu and Oshoma. And this looks good at the bottom of the Banzuke. Where Roga, Dayamami, and Ryuden fall, very variable. I could totally see both Roga and Dayamami losing a rank and a half of a rank. I don't see Dayamami falling off the Banzuke. He had a 7 and 8. I don't think um, if it's between Dayamami and Myogiryu, who falls off? I think it might be Myogiryu because I, I definitely 100% think Oshoma comes up. Oshoma 100% comes up. Is it Dayamami or Myogiryu who falls? So that's the main question. Is it going to be Dayamami or Myogiryu that occupies this Maegashira 17? If Roga falls one full rank, then it would also be fair for Dayamami to fall one full rank back to Judeo 1. At the same time, though, you could make the argument that they even keep their spots and Ryu Den falls below the both of them but stays on while Myogiryu falls off because Myogiryu a six and nine from the same rank as Roga. Roga's safe. Roga definitely doesn't fall. Dayamami one and a half ranks below. It's really hard to say. And even if we did consult like the Banzuke query, we're going to see a million examples of someone with a seven and eight from Maegashira 16 falling to Judeo probably. Let's actually uh, take a look at that right now. So uh, Maegashira 16... Seven wins, eight losses. Let's see. Um, how many times do they fall to Judeo? We have uh, not that many times, actually, in general. And it seems like, you know, just taking a quick glance at it, a little less than a third, about, you know, between a third and a quarter, maybe 30% of the time, whoever got a Maegashira 16 will fall down to Judeo 1 East, and in catastrophic senses, fall down to uh, Judeo 3 East. Sorry, uh, Shikishima. But uh, I would be very comfortable keeping Dayamami on the Banzuke. Let's take a look at uh, Myogiryu, who was Maegashira 15 with a 6 and 9. And for the most part... 
Uh, very, not very often will they actually stay up on the Banzuke, even going down to Magashira 20 back in the 40s and 50s. So I think we can discount most of this. Uh, Shimano Umi and Terutsuyoshi are the most recent examples, as well as Ishiura, who's actually getting his Danpats Shiki, his uh, haircutting ceremony, done soon. So um, those are the most recent examples we have. Terutsuyoshi again. And Myogiryu again. Uh, what happened that he only fell one half of a rank with a 6 and 9 back in 2018? Uh, let's find Myogiryu. Let's see, Hide no Umi fell, Sokokurai fell, Kotoyuki fell, um, and then uh, there really wasn't anyone to go up. There was Sada no Umi, Ami Nishiki, Kyokutaise, and Takekaze, and Ono Show 0015. He fell off from Maigashira 5? That's crazy. So yeah, there was really, Mio Giryu survived because the people coming up under him weren't strong enough to replace him. Whereas in this situation, we have a 12 and 3 and an 11 and 4 coming up. And you're not exactly going to stop Toki Hayate from moving up. You're not going to stop Takara Fuji from moving up. So if we're going to have to flip a coin between uh, Dayamami and Miyogiryu falling off, I think it's going to be Miyogiryu. Just taking that example from uh, his own personal history, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, and then Tsurugisho... Falling, uh, he was two wins, falling to Maigashira six. He's definitely not going to fall off the Banzuke, and hell, he might even be below some of these guys. Like, we can even put, uh, I think we could put Churano Umi below Mitoru and Oshoma, like this, something like that. But this, I think, is definitely the block at the bottom of the Banzuke. Mitoru, Churano Umi, Oshoma, Tsurugisho, Toki Hayate, Takara Fuji, Ryuden, Roga, and Dayamami. That's definitely going to be the block at the bottom. I don't think Tsurugisho falls off, and we can actually check that. Um, let's see, rank of Maigashira 6, 2 wins, let's say 13 losses, because it, it can't really take absences. So, happened very few times in history, and the most recent time... Bushuyama fell to Maigashira 16, and before that, it was Bushuyama again fell to Judeo 1, but that was uh, 13 straight losses. I guess that does beg the question, is Sudugisho going to be the one to fall off the Banzuke? Does he even stay up here with that two wins? Because now, now I'm thinking maybe it's Sudugisho that falls off. The Dayamami Tsuru... Tsurugisho or Miyogiryu who falls off? I think that's the I think that's the question to ask here. Because we can try the uh, the query again instead of doing uh let's see, it was Maigashira 6, 2 wins. Um just see what happens from here. We're gonna get a lot of stuff from like 1764, 2, 4, and 2. Like come on. Let's go to the last few pages. Um let's see, 2 wins, 2, 3, 10, Judeo 1, Judeo 1. Maigashira 16, um, Maigashira 14, Maigashira 15, but the last time that happened was back in, uh, 58. So maybe it is Sudugisho that falls off. Maybe it is. Hmm. Now, now, uh, th this is, and we're not even at the, the meaty part yet. We're not, we're not at the top of the Banzuke yet. Is it Sudugisho that falls off? And everyone else scooches uh, back up. Uh, oops. And everyone else scooches back up. Ryuden, Roga, Diamami, Gisher. Okay, now more than ever, I think Diamami stays up. I think Diamami stays up. So now I think it's Tsurugisho or Miyogiryu. Now I'm thinking it's Sudugisho that falls off. This is... This is tough. I think I want to see what other people speculate first before we, uh, before we make a tough decision. And I am recording this, you know, the Friday after the Basho ended, so I don't know how many other people have already done their guess the Bonzukes. Um... Doesn't look like too many people have. It looks like I might actually be the first... In uh, the Nato Sumo Discord, at the least. So, ball is life, you know? We'll uh, we'll come back to a decision later on that. And whatever decision we do come back to, 
I will make sure to submit it at the very end because I forgot to submit my GTB for the last tournament. And I hate it when I do that. So next up, we do have to kind of pull some of these people down to make room for some of these people at the top. And I think it works out pretty nicely here. Hokuto Fuji. Um, Hokuto Fuji, what was your score line? Six and nine from Maegashira nine. Can't fault the Maegashira 12. That's fine. Ichiyamoto, a seven and eight from Maegashira 11. He could fall to Maegashira 12. I think even Hokuto Fuji might be below him. Let's see, Nishiki Fuji moving up with an 8 and 7. We could even see something like Hokuto Fuji falling here and Nishiki Fuji uh, coming over here. Something like that. Ichi Yamamoto falls a rank and a half. That might be a little too much. But we can see something like Nishiki Fuji doesn't actually move up that high. Come on, move over. Come on, Ichi. 7 and 8 from Ichi Yamamoto falling 1 rank. Hokuto Fuji falling 2.5 ranks. Seems appropriate. Keen Bozon with a 7 and 8 falling that far doesn't seem too appropriate. So I don't want to pull Keen Bozon down anymore. Same with uh, Tamawashi. So Sadano Umi with an 8 and 7 from Maegashira 11. Shonan no Umi has to be above Sadano Umi. But there's no way he only moves up one half of a rank just to make room for other people. So maybe other people above him will indeed fall a little bit more. Keen Bozon had two absences, which they usually count a little bit harsher than actual losses. That's that's just a rumor I've heard. I don't actually know if there's any science behind it or if anyone has actually analyzed it. But I've been told that those with absences get counted a little bit harder than those who actually fought and lost, which is why Tsuru Gisho might fall off the Banzuke, because he was out for 10 of those matches. Keen Bozon slots in at Maegashira 11 quite nicely. Uh, Sadano Umi moving up only one rank. That seems like a little kick in the butt, but I don't see Takanosho or Tamawashi falling that far. Midori, no one else really up here is going to fall that far. Like, the floor right now is... Keen Bowls on Hokuto Fuji, who were Maegashira 7 and 9, falling to Maegashira 11, which seems a little harsh for Keen Bowls on. But it's the only thing that really fits right now. Sadano Umi moving up only one rank after an 8 and 7. I think that actually happened in the last tournament, right? Uh, or something stupid like that. Um... Let's see, where was it? Shimazu Umi, 9 and 6. Someone had a, a lower score. Hirado Umi with a Maegashira 8 moved up to Maegashira 4. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I, I do like how I keep all of this in my one Google Sheet so I can go back and see what I was doing back then, making these guesses. But uh, here we go. Like, Sadano Umi, Oho, 8 and 7. Uh, they only moved up. Let's see, they were at Maegashira 11 and 12. Oho and Sadano Umi both only moved up one half of a rank with their eight and sevens back in January 2024, going into March 2024. This is what I was looking for. Because, again, we could see Tsurugisho, Tamawashi, Hirado Umi all leapfrog Sadano Umi and Oho on this Banzuke. Tsurugisho, Tamawashi, and uh, Hirado Umi went somewhere up higher. Maegashira 8. So... It is fully reasonable and plausible that Sadano Umi only moves up one rank. Uh, with that as well, I mean, Shodai has to move up. Shonan no Umi moving up only two ranks with his nine and six. Again, seems like a little kick in the butt. And I want to say he leapfrogs Shodai, but there really is no one else we can put here comfortably. Because Tamawashi is not going to fall. Two and a half ranks from a seven and eight. Takanosho, he's not going to fall that far with a five and ten from Maegashira three. Let's actually uh, ask the Bonzuke about that. So he was Maegashira three, five, and ten. Um, let's see, Maegashira four, five, five, six, 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 seven, seven, seven. Lots of sevens. Some eights. Lots of eights, too. Some nines. Takanosho is not going to fall to ten. He is just not going to fall that far. Most likely landing spot for Takanosho is Maegashira 8. Maybe 9. 
And in that, I guess you could really kick him in the ass and put him down to Maigashira 10. The last time that happened was uh, Show Hozon back in 2019. I think I actually have that. Guess the Bonzuke here. Nope. I started in September 2020. <laughs> so what happened to Show Hozon back in this Bonzuke? Let's see. Takano Iwa retired. Uh, let's see. Yoshikaze had a big fall. Show Hozon, five and ten. A lot of uh, people really leapfrogging, going over him. Yago was up here. Yutakiyama was there. Dayamami was falling back down into Judio again. <laughs> Tetsuyoshi made his uh, come up debut. Let's see. Uh kind of hard to glean what might have been going on here comparatively, but like show holes on five and 10 maybe would have fallen to my seven or eight or nine, but he was put down to 10 because Abi, Endo, Takara, Fuji, Sarano, Umi all went up. Ikioi went up. Meise, Yago all going up. And then everyone below that lost pretty much except for Chiono Kuni got his winning record and dipped. He just had his uh, Dampatsushiki recently, I think. But, uh, yeah, it looks like so many people were leapfrogging over him with these strong scores like 10 and 5, like 10 and 5, like 9 and 6, another 9 and 6. But we don't really have those super strong score lines. Like, sure, maybe Shonan no Umi is above Takanosho, but is Shodai going to be above Takanosho? I, I don't think so. I could definitely see Takanosho down to Maigashira 9. Maigashira 10. Kind of a stretch. Happy to Tochi Ozan. And it really is a stretch. Out of 160 examples, we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 that go down to Maigashira 10 or below. So that's a very small percentage chance but at the same time, it's looking more and more likely that that is possibly what's going to happen. Honestly, it's uh, hard to say. Is Takanosho at Maigashira 10? Well, realistically, Shodai has to move up from Maigashira 10. And there really isn't anybody else that lost more that could fit into that spot. Like Nishikigi, sure, a 3 and 12 from Komusubi. He's not going to fall to Maigashira 10. Let's take a look at that. 3 and 12 from Komusubi. There's no way he falls to Maigashira 10. Rank Maigashira 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, Komusubi with a 3 and 12 has never fallen to Maigashira 10. Anywhere else seems equally likely. Five, six, or six seems to be the mean, or the uh, the median, rather. I guess Takanosho does fall to Maigashira 10. Shodai moves up a half of a rank, just like how Sadana Umi moves up one rank, which, again, there's a little bit of a traffic jam here. Uh, Mitake Umi has to be above Shonan no Umi and Shodai, so he could be above Tamawashi here. Uh, Koto Shoho with an 8 and 7 from Maigashira 9, moving up to Maigashira 7. No, Mitake Yumi has to leapfrog Koto Shoho. Something like this. Ono Sho, 9 and 6 from Maigashira 8. Eh, seems about right. There is going to be a traffic jam at the top here. This is where it's going to start getting interesting. Nishikigi can definitely move down to Maigashira 7. That's like we just saw and like we're looking at kind of right now. Maigashira 6 West seems to be the median. Which is right in the middle. Um, also seems to be the mean as well, which is the average. Math terms from third grade. But now, Ono Show. Going up two ranks off of a 9 and 6, that's not too far out of the uh, realm of possibility. But we can have Midori Fuji fall. Like, we can easily have Midori Fuji fall. We can have Ono Show go up. We can have Oho fall another rank 2, maybe. Because uh, Midori Fuji, he's only going from Maigashira 5 to Maigashira 6. That's not that big of a deal. We could even put Ono Show on the other side of Maigashira 6, so he only goes up a rank and a half. Let me actually see. Uh, 9 and 6 from Maigashira 8. Let's query that. 
Here's Shira 8, 9, and 6. What kind of things happen here? Uh, Komusubi from Yogiryu back in uh, 2015. And now we're talking about him falling off nine years later. <laughs> Was this, uh, was this the Bonzuke where a bunch of people were forced to retire? No, not even. He just got really lucky on that draw. Damn. But, uh... Magashira 2. Lots of Magashira 2s and 3s and 4s. Magashira 6. My, yeah. So, Magashira 5 and 6 is on the low end for where Ono Show might fall. Um, let's see, Meisei with a 6 and 9. Ah, see, this is where it's going to start getting difficult, because where do we put some of these guys? Uh, Daisho does not fall further than Maegashira 1, I guarantee it. Whether or not it's Atami Fuji and Daisho on one side or the other, couldn't tell you, but I don't think Daisho falls further than Maegashira 1. Uh, Hirado Umi Gonoyama kind of slot in perfectly right there. I think Gonoyama might get the edge over Hirado Umi. And I do think both of those guys, Gonoyama, Onosato, Hirado Umi, they will all be above Tobizaru. Now the question is Uda Oho Meisei. Tobizaru Takeru Fuji. Takeyasu. He might also leapfrog Tobizaru, but I don't think so. Um let's see. This is where it's going to get messy and one person is going to get screwed. One person is going to take too big of a lump. So, let's look at uh, Meisei's record. Meisei was Maegashira 2 with a 6 and 9. And usually they'll fall to about Maegashira 3, 4. Looks like a lot. Lots of 4s. Lots of 5s. So, okay. Meisei could realistically fall to 5 or 6. So Meisei falling that far, he will fall below Oho. He needs to be below Oho. Oho from Maegashira 3 falling to Maegashira 5 seems a little harsh. But at the same time, Takeru Fuji only going from Maegashira 17 to Maegashira 5 doesn't seem quite right either. So let's uh, let's actually take a look at Takeru Fuji for the first time. Uh, 13 and 2 from Maegashira 17. It's happened so few times in history. Maegashira 4 and Maegashira 1. <laughs> Those are Hajimayama all the way back in 1949. Had the playoff loss too, damn. Teruno Fuji back in July 2020. Which was uh, the first sumo basho I ever recorded and streamed and commentated for. Very good tournament. And then after that, Maegashira 1. So, Maegashira 4 not out of the question Oho falling to Maegashira 5? Ono Show only going up to Maegashira 5? I mean, Ono Show only going up to Maegashira 5 kind of makes sense. Takeru Fuji. I think Oho does get a little screwed here. Oho falling two ranks from a 7 and 8 from Maegashira 3. It's a little bit of a screw job because, you know, he's falling two ranks for a minus 1. But at the same time, that would be a blessing in disguise because now he's out of range of the Yokozuna and the Ozeki and will fight down the Bonzuke, much like Ono Sato did in his first week of the previous tournament. And then I think, uh, I mean, Tobizaru has to move up. Uda might get a little screwed here, too, falling down to Maegashira 4. But we have to make room for Tobizaru moving up. And Takeru Fuji, it looks like he's going to fall to Maegashira 4. Let's uh let's also check like a 12 and 3 to see if there's anything else in the neighborhood. There really isn't. 53 and 54. Ochiyama and Naruyama. Maegashira 9, Maegashira 5. See, it's one of those things where it happens so few times in history that like there's really nothing we can <laughs> we just have to guess. It's like playing Minesweeper and there's a, a two next to a wall, and it's like which which one is it? Which one is it? <laughs> Which one is it? You just gotta make that guess. So, Uda is gonna be forced to fall. Takeru Fuji up to Maegashira 4, Tobizaru up to Maegashira 3, because he has to move up. And this looks like a pretty good Banzuke. For me, at least. 
Uh, everyone at the top kind of move, that lost moved down a little bit together. Daesho is the only one sticking out because he was a Sekiwake. He's not going to fall that far. He is absolutely not going to fall that far. So Daesho 6 and 9 from Sekiwake happens a lot more than you think. Sometimes they fall to Komusubi 2. Lots of Maegashira 1. Uh, lots of Maegashira 1, 2, and 1, 3. So, uh, sorry Teru no Bori for your fall to Maegashira 3. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Daesho is not going to fall that far. If anything, maybe Maegashira 2 if you really hate him and really love Gonoyama. Uh, the other issue, too, at the very top is Ono Sato versus Atami Fuji. I think 100% Ono Sato leapfrogs Atami Fuji, and I don't think there really is a debate about that. Ono Sato really showed up. He took on the Ozeki. He, you know, came to play, whereas Atami Fuji, he kind of struggled. And sure, Ono Sato was fighting down for a lot of his schedule. We can actually uh, take a look at it right here. He was fighting down Maegashira 6, 4, 5, 7... 8, 17, but I mean, that was Takedo Fuji. But then in those, uh, you know, that la that second week, those last six days, he beat a Sekiwake, he beat an Ozeki, he beat the other Sekiwake, he beat a Komusubi, and lost to two Ozeki out of the three he could have fought, you know? So, he did good. Then, comparatively, you have, uh, you know, Atami Fuji, who kind of lucks out because he doesn't have to fight the Yokozuna, he doesn't have to fight you know, a bunch of other Fujis around him, like Midori Fuji. So, he beat Kirishima, lost to two Ozeki, beat Takakesho, but Kirishima and Takakesho were obviously not all there. Beat Tobizaru, beat Asanoyama, but then loses to Oho, loses to Meisei, loses to another Sekiwake and a Komusubi. Like, this is a good 8 and 7 but I feel that the 11 wins from Ono Sato is stronger, and that's what's going to push him up above that. Plus, I mean, just the raw numbers push him up above it anyway. So, Ono Sato, if you don't have him at Komusubi, he's going to be like Ichi Nojo when he was a Sekiwake with his hair slicked back, I swear. Let's hope he doesn't have the same drinking problems that Ichi Nojo had. <sighs> but, yeah, I think this looks good. Because once we really churned out the bottom middle, like the bottom of the top, it was smoother to work through. And I really think working from the bottom to the top helped make things smooth because it really was like the bottom was what it was like. The floor was uh, like Ichi Yamamoto kind of if the floor, my year at 13 Functioning that out and then building it up from there, I think, was the, the smart thing to do. I mean, if you guys want to uh, structure your own Bonzuke in a different way, if you want to start from the top and go from go to the bottom, or if you want to put uh, Takeyasu at Komusubi because he's your favorite and start from there, you know, power to you. And again, I think really the only thing I'm concerned about is, is it Sudo Gisho or Mio Giryu that falls off the Bonzuke? And I think I'm going to need second, third, fourth, maybe even fifth opinions on this. But uh, for now, at least, I think Sudo Gisho survives by the skin of his teeth. And I do want to thank myself for uh, going in and checking the uh, the Bonzuke query. Sumo database, Sumo DB. Look it up. Great website. Highly recommend it. Uh... But tipping me off to that, Tsurugisho might be the one to fall off. You know, Dayamami keeping his rank with a 7 and 8. Maybe it's even something like this, where uh, Dayamami falls this half of a rank and Tsurugisho... Uh, yeah, Tsurugisho is the one to, you know, stay there. But, uh, hmm. I think it's still, even if it's my guess here, 16 West, it's still Tsurugisho versus Miyokiryu. I mean, Dayamami could realistically stay Maegashira 16. You know, that's in the cards. Roga. I don't think he can stay Maegashira 15. Unless they put Takara Fuji down to like Maegashira. Uh, if we, uh, cause there, there could be a million different configurations for the bottom of the Banzuke here. So let's assume we keep both Dayamami and Roga in the same spot. We could put Takara Fuji right there. 
do something like this. And Sudogisho occupies that last spot where Rolga and Dayamami don't move down at all. And then Ryuden with his 6 and 9 only moves down two ranks. Takara Fuji slots in real comfortably right there at Maegashira 16. And then Tsurugisho Myogiryu down here at Maegashira 17. Like, I think this is where a lot of the difficulty might come from, is just how down here is configured. Because 100% Mitoryu is going to be above all of these guys. Another 100% Oshoma goes up a above Toki Hayate and Takara Fuji. But it's a matter of where are we putting Toki Hayate and Takara Fuji and Roga and Dayamami. Because they're all so close to each other in this math here. And it's really difficult to call, you know? Will we also see something like, uh, uh, let me check out Takeru Fuji's schedule, because he had he beat Dayamami and Roga, so will strength of schedule factor in to Dayamami and Roga? Well, if they didn't fight the Yusho winner, then maybe they would have won and moved up the Banzuke instead, which, again, rumor, I don't know how true it is, but I've been told that the, uh, the people who make the Banzuke do take strength of schedule into consideration, so, you know, because these guys went 7 and 8, and one of their losses was to the eventual winner of the tournament, and they're sitting at the bottom of the Banzuke, it's like, well, you could reasonably argue that if they fought literally anybody else, they probably would have had a better chance. <laughs> and, uh, you know, maybe that's the argument to keep them at Maegashira 15 and 16, respectively. And personally... I like keeping 7s and 8s at the ranks that they lost at, but of course in other situations like Oho, he has to lose two ranks to make room for all the winners, that kind of thing. Uh, I, I really like doing that personally. I don't know how often that happens. Like we can we could probably just check like a another Banzuke query like uh let's do Maegashira 16 with a 7 and 8. I think we already did this one though. Like how often do they stay at Maegashira 16? Not too often. A lot of the times they will fall. But again, this hasn't happened too many times. Dayamami is the most recent example. Takano Iwa didn't fall a rank. Let's see. Uh, no, Dai Shoho didn't fall a rank. Another dude from the same stable, Dai Shoho. Is he still down here? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Some Maegashira 16 Wests that didn't fall. Sato Yama back in 2014. Uh, Hirado Umi, it's a name we, uh, still know back in 2022. Let's see, I'm trying to see more recent dates. And then let's also take a look at, uh, Maegashira 15, 7 and 8s. <laughs> Ariake really lucked out in, uh, I wonder what happened in, uh, 1944 that a dude with a 7 and 8 record moved up four spots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess he wasn't called to war, huh? Uh, let's see. In a less dark tone, uh, let's see. Tochi Ozan, back in 2007, stayed the same rank. Uh, Waka no Sato, 2013, stayed the same rank. Chiyo-O, 2017. Yutakiyama, 2021, stayed the same rank. Uh, let's see. Even recently, Tochi Noshin... Everybody loves Tochi Noshin back in 2022, stayed the same rank. Kotoeko stayed the same rank. Kotoeko again stayed the same rank. Back to back. <laughs> That's so good. Hold on. <laughs> Kotoeko stayed the same rank. Maegashira 15 West for three tournaments straight with his seven and eight records. That's so good. I mean, I just, that's so funny. <laughs> uh, it does look like, though, more often than not, uh, Maegashira 15 will fall from their rank. But at the same time, you've seen the Banzuke committee be so harsh on these judo promotions that, like, I could honestly see Takara Fuji being, you know, bottom of the Banzuke, Maegashira 17, that kind of thing. So it's very, very, very difficult to really predict what's going to happen at the bottom here. And really, that's where all of my issues are. Everything else on the Banzuke that I've called out. I'm comfortable with Koto Shoho moving up a rank and a half to Maegashira 8, Shodai moving up a half of a rank to Maegashira 9, we just checked that earlier, it was uh, January 2024 where Sadano Umi and Oho both only moved up one half of a rank, Kinbozan moved up 
a rank and a half, you know, on the uh, flip side. Or, no, Kim Bolzon moved up to, uh, yeah, a rank and a half to Magashira 6. So, you know, I'm fine with that. Shonan no Umi getting a 9 and 6 for Magashira 12, moving up 3 ranks. Works out perfectly mathematically. Mitake Umi with a 9 and 6, moving up 3 ranks. Works out perfectly mathematically. Midori Fuji moving down a rank and a half with a 7 and 8. Works out. Oho moving down, you know, two ranks. I think that's the biggest screw right now, is just Oho moving down two ranks. Other than Takanosho, of course. Takanosho, realistically... Realistically, if Takanosho is above Maigashira 10, I'd be more surprised that they didn't promote some of these other guys a little bit better. You know what I mean? Like, Koto Shoho moving up only one rank, Shona no Umi. Oh, Shodai has to move up. That's the thing. Shodai has to move up. Maybe you screw Shona no Umi and only move him up two ranks and have Takanosho where Shona no Umi is supposed to be at Maigashira 9. But I feel like Shona no Umi has to move up over Shodai. 9 and 6 compared to Shodai's 8 and 7. And we've seen that more frequently too. Like, let's go back to January 24. All of these 9 and 6s... Even uh, Churano Umi going, uh, let's see, Churano Umi, I had him at Maigashira 13, so he did get screwed a little bit. But uh, like Tsurugisho, Tamawashi, Hirado Umi next to, let's uh, try to compare them to Mitake Umi. Uh, Mitake Umi was below Hirado Umi, who is in the same spot. Maigashira 9, Maigashira 11, Shodai, Maigashira 10, Shonano Umi, Maigashira 12, Shonano Umi definitely goes up over Shodai. I don't see a world where he doesn't. And if this is the world where he doesn't, then man, am I really bad at guessing the Bonzuke. But you already know that, don't you guys? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the rest of this falls really cleanly. Like the Sekiwake, we know it's Wakamoto Haru and Abi. The Komusubi, we know it's Asano Yama. And I say we also very much know it's Ono Sato. Atami Fuji, easily Maigashira 1. Daisho falls in perfectly right next to him. Gonoyama and Ono Sato, or Gonoyama and Hirado Umi, have to be above Tobizaru and above all these losers, so Maigashira 2 for the both of them. Gonoyama, good pick for my Kachi Clash. I, I rolled the dice and it chose him. Takiyasu was one of those options, but uh, I mean, 10 wins to 11 wins, moving up one rank from like 60 to 50 or something. I'm just happy I got top 100. <laughs> but yeah, Gonoyama was a very good pick at that last Kachi Clash. Didn't expect 10 wins, but that was good. Uh, and then, like, all these other losers with softer scores, like Oho, Meisei, Midori Fuji, Tamawashi, Kim Bolzon to an extent. Well, Kim Bolzon gets a little bit screwed, but again, he had a couple of absences, so that does hurt him, you know, a little bit more. So maybe... That's the other screw job on here is Keen Boson. Am I over demoting Keen Boson? And then over demoting Takanosho. But again, there's really nobody else that could fit in those spots. Like Nishiki Fuji didn't win enough to go over them. But like Koto Shoho definitely did, I think. Takayasu, obviously. Onosho, obviously. Shodai. I mean, Shodai has to move up from Maigashira 10. He has an 8 and 7, even if he only moves up a half of a rank to Maigashira 9. Like, it's... It is what it is. And I think this is going to be my final guess for the Bonzuke for now. Again, I am uh, in the Nato Sumo Discord, which... No one else, seemingly, has uh, posted their predictions just yet. I am doing it, uh, you know, right after. It, it's the same week the tournament ended, so you know how it goes. But, uh, yeah, I will try to see what other people are doing, and I need to, like, set a reminder on my phone to not forget to submit, because I do that a little too often. So... That's going to be it for me. Thank you very much for watching this guest, the Bonzuke, and I hope you had some fun uh, playing along with me. Uh, if you guys are interested in reliving some of the sumo action over on my Twitch, I am rerunning a bunch of older tournaments. 
And by older, I mean like within the past two, three years, because those are the ones I actively commentate. So if you want to catch some uh, not so classic, but also older sumo, be sure to tune into my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Leo Dickinson sumo. Not doing that over here on YouTube because I'd probably definitely get taken down by someone. <laughs> but thank you again for watching. We will be see you next week when I post the lower top 10. We had a lot of great matches, so it might even be a top 15 video. I don't know. We had a lot of good matches.